I know the customization we do with the bags is unique. There's no one else out there doing it. And it does take a little bit of time and it costs us a little bit more money. We don't make any money on the customization. We just take care of Hitoshi for doing the artwork. Um, but yeah, I think it's starting to catch on. People are seeing it. And because we can do anything, like you can send us a picture of your dog. We can send that out to get that digitized into a logo. Hitoshi can paint your dog's face on the side of your bag, which surprisingly a lot of people do. Um, and then, yeah, you can be playing golf with your with your dog with you. So yeah, I mean, pretty much anything you want on the bag, we can we can do it, and we can put it anywhere on the bag because we're not sticking it in some machine to do embroidery. We're uh, literally just turn the bag on its side and paint wherever you want it. So that's becoming a really cool thing. More people, as more people understand how that process goes, they're ordering with more unique designs and things like that. So it's it, that's one of the most fun things that we do. So. Could I get a My Swing Evolution bag or a Ben Hogan bag? You know what I think would look really sick? If you put the Ben Hogan sunburst on the filming pocket, you know, the pocket on the bag where you can slip your phone in to film your swing, I think that little spot would be perfect for the Ben Hogan sunburst. And then we can put MSE or My Swing Evolution on the back panel. That'd be sick. Hey guys, so we are continuing to move into the space down in Redondo Beach. It is just amazing. It's just a couple blocks from the beach. You know, I'm working with Sam and, uh, you know, he's got his golf bag company that's really, really cool. And he's going to build out the space with multiple simulators, mine being one of them. Now, I am working hard to create the Netflix of golf. And my buddy Gabe is helping me on this side of the puzzle. So um, right now I'm just starting with the MSC premium video content. It's gonna be 17 premium videos to start, hundreds of golf lessons, but my goal is to expand that and bring in other influencers like Sam and Gabe and bring their libraries on board and then move on to other additional golf influencers. I'm hoping to have it launched before the end of the month hopefully by the British Open. So I hope you guys will support MSE TV. Okay guys, now what I'm really out here to do is straighten out my driver. I always have a tendency to go through these phases where I go for control, I start to hit it straight, and then I start to hit it short, and then I go back to swinging longer and harder to try and gain some distance. I gain the distance and then I lose control. You know, when you hit a, a ball, 310 offline or with that much speed and the face is open it can go off the side of the planet so now i'm working back towards control after doing long drive training earlier this year all right so here i am trying to get a feeling of the bow on the back swing um admittedly after 10 years of cupping me trying to bow it is when i'm lucky it's flat you know, so I have a long way to go. Um, but I'm just gonna give this a rip and see how it goes. So I caught that really low on the face. But once again, here I am trying to, to bow it down. So when I was hitting the five irons earlier, I was, you know, really drilling these low balls. Um, now these are also limited flight golf balls. You know, so they're just not going to have as much lift up into the air. And, you know, I just can't, can't hit a bomb with these balls. Now here I'm trying to get my shoulders steeper and then engage my legs in a rotational fashion. Um, I'm trying to exaggerate all these fields. So that was a nice drive right up the middle. There's another nice one. Um, you know, I just need to be able to get a ball and play. My iron play has been been quite good since I've been working with John, so I just want to have more opportunities to make birdies. That's once again me working on um, a sort of a, it feels like an inside over the top move. I think Sam Sneed is the best uh, example of that. I mean, he really had a modern golf swing. So that was a little snapper, little little 
dive bomb hook. So what I'm saying to myself is um, the face sends it, the path bends it. So that last wing I was too far inside out with a closed face. I fixed it here. In fact, I was trying to really exaggerate my rotation. Uh, as you can see in slow motion, that club comes out lower left than normal. Once again, another low one on the face. You know, I'm really uh, trying to show the good, the bad, bad, and the ugly with these golf swings here. Yeah, that's a nice rhythmic swing. Uh, once again, I'm trying to, to work on a swing that's going to keep me in play because um, that one I turned over a bit too much. The problem that I have is my last round of golf would have been a nice round of golf in the 70s, uh, like mid-70s, except I had three blow-up holes. I had a triple and two doubles, and those just ruined my whole card. Otherwise, I was playing like one of the good guys at the club, you know? Yeah, so I'm starting to get in a rhythm here. I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep that up. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be playing skins again with the big boys. And, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to that. Here I'm trying to keep my left elbow down for a fuller around release like Mr. Hogan. So enjoy these swings. believe that Ben Hogan said there's only eight fundamentals you have to have under control in order to shoot in the 70s? Well, I'm going to show you all eight and it's going to change your golf game forever.